We come now to our time of prayer. Please see the list of prayer requests in your bulletin. After each prayer, you can respond. Hear our prayers, O Lord. Gracious and merciful God, we ask prayers of thankfulness for the 60th wedding anniversary of Jerry and Ann Jane. For my cousin, Karen Winston, who has a degenerative neurological disease, but has been able to enjoy her toddler grandson by Skype. Prayers for the end of racial enmity. Prayers for the social workers on the front line who support and counsel those impacted by COVID-19 and help people access needed resources. Prayers for guidance in reopening Covenant Presbyterian Church. Prayers of gratitude for loved ones and friends recovered from COVID-19. Prayers for the clients of the food pantry and all those who feel in need of food and sustenance, that they may feel the freedom from food insecurity as they seek food in another facility for themselves and their families until we can provide them with a place to receive food here. Prayers for the homeless man, John Brown, who creates and sings spiritual hymns and shares his faith with people. For our hearts and eyes and ears to be open to moments when the Holy Spirit presents a child of God before us who fills us with song and wonder. For our church in creating ways to emerge from the pandemic and welcome neighbors. Prayers for gratitude for everyone who is calling and checking on others during this time of sheltering in place. A grateful prayer for our session as they lead us. A special prayer of blessing for us all. Let us pray together. Gracious and loving God, we lift up these prayers to you in your mercy and your grace. We ask that you hear our prayers, those spoken and those too deep to say. We ask that you accept all these prayers offered to your son in Jesus name and give us now the strength to wait patiently for your answer and to live faithfully in response to your call through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Disciples Prayer In his Sermon on the Mountainside overlooking the Sea of Galilee, Jesus instructed his followers, Whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And so let us join together in saying the prayer that he taught his disciples. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.